It's all about networking. Get the word out. Let your parents know. Let your brothers and your sisters know. Let your aunts and uncles know. Let everybody you know know that you're going to make a movie and you're looking for investors. When you're going to talk to people to try to raise money, they want you to be excited about your project. So if you're excited about it, some of that kind of rubs off on them. They get excited about it. So you really need to be passionate about it. If you can't, if you're not passionate about it, you should probably find something else to do. But if you really want to do it, you will be passionate about it and it'll show through. When somebody gives you money, they're saying, I work hard for this. I have faith that you are going to do something with this. Don't mess it up. Do what you say you're going to do. They're investing in you as a filmmaker. If you're going to attack this form of writing, you have to learn everything there is to know about it. There are tons of books that will teach you about screenplay format. And screenplay format varies. It varies from, from sitcom to episodic television to screenplay. They're all a little different. So whatever you're going to go after, you've got to figure out what the proper format is. That's the other thing. You've got to send your stuff out. You can't, you can't write a script and keep it. Sometimes stuff gets stolen. So before you ever send anything out, you, you register with the copyright office. It's three talks. You register with the Writers Guild. Protect yourself as much as you can. Rewriting is, is the key in any writing. And with, with screenplay writers, they'll rewrite constantly, constantly, constantly. I looked at one screenplay, and it had gone from draft number one to draft number 11 in 30 days. It's very difficult to get any distance from what you're writing if you're doing a new draft the very next day. You have to put it away. You have to be able to approach it like it's something that somebody else has written. As hard as that is to do, you have to approach it with fresh eyes. But as a director, I was first to the set and I was the last to leave every day. So if the lighting guy took two hours to carry his lighting set up down, I had to stick around until, I didn't have to, but I did stick around until he was done. When you're leading a group of people, when you have employees under you, you want to be the first one there in the morning. You want to be the last one to leave. You want them to know that you're willing to do whatever they have to do to get the job done. Every morning before we would shoot, I would sit down with my actors and I'd say, tell me about your scene and tell me about your character. And one of my one of my actors, he said, uh, I said, tell me about Marcus. What what's he like? And I said, I've written the character to be a very sympathetic, loving, kind character. And he said, Oh, Marcus is a nasty guy. He takes advantage of people. He uses people. He's got AIDS, and he's using his AIDS as a way to manipulate. And I thought, Holy cow! I had no idea. <laughs> he said, he said, what did you think? I said, it doesn't matter what I think. Let's go with what you think. Let your actors figure things out. Do not take a step without having thought through everything that you can possibly think through. You're still going to get curveballs thrown at you, but it's the more prepared you are, the better things are going to go. You're given assignments to make a film about whatever it is. Make sure when you're doing that, that you're making it the best work that you can make. It. In other words, make sure you're lighting it properly. Make sure you're miking it so we can hear it. Your student films are going to be the things that you're going to show people to try to get work. If you send me your resume and you've got a typo in your resume, I throw it away. Because I have this many resumes. And I have this many resumes that don't have any typos on them at all. If you don't have enough care to make sure there's not a misspelling in your resume, I don't want you working on my team. Because if you don't care about that, you're not going to care about something else. How many people have gone to bed at night with a problem in their head and gotten up in the morning with a solution? Anybody done that? It's amazing, isn't it? Your brain is working while you're hanging out, while you're sleeping. Well, those are the things, I'm so jazzed about this because I can't believe that I missed it all these years. My God, I wish I was your age. Oh, the opportunities you have. My life is half over. You're just getting started. How cool is that? Make your intentions clear. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. And I'm telling you, it's going to work. I was so passionate about wanting to be a filmmaker, I said, I'm going to do this myself. And I'll do it right. If I make a movie and it sucks, it's my fault. If somebody else makes my movie and it sucks, I'm gonna kill myself because I let it get out of my hands. Every morning when I woke up, I got up at four o'clock in the morning, my driver picked me up at five, I had to be on the set at six, we worked till seven o'clock at night, I'd go home, I would do my life. I'd get to bed about 11 or 12, I'd wake up at four, I did this for 25 days. There wasn't a single day that I woke up and thought, what am I doing? I got up and I was like, I can't wait to see what's going to happen today. And my rule is, once you're not passionate about it anymore, get the hell out and find something else to do.
I'm jazzed inside just talking about it because it was such an exciting experience for me. And I, I've seen this movie probably a thousand times. And when I take it to the next film festival, I'll sit in the audience and I'll watch it again. I love my movie. And I love the experience that I had making it. I love the people that I met doing it. And that's why you have to do this. Don't do it because you think you're going to make money or you're going to be Steven Spielberg. It needs to be something that you have to do because you can't do anything else. If you're passionate about picking up garbage and throwing it in the back of a truck, God love you. That's what you should be doing for your living. But if you're passionate about being a filmmaker, do that. But make sure that you eat, breathe, and sleep and bleed film.